And then I outgrew that one. Road to nine, baby. We got the Hydro Max Extreme Nine. What is up, everyone? It's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Today's ASMR sip is sponsored by 1907 Water. Check it out in the description below. Coupon code Russo. Let's not forget about the ASMR Spritz, Intelligent Elephant Carbon, coupon code Russo. Today's topic, I'm going to be going into air pumping versus water pumping, what I found better and how I personally do it. And to cut the chase, I like water pumping better. I'm not saying which one is better. I'm gonna say that, you know, with these pumps, I started out with the Bathmate. It's not a sponsor video. I did get a sponsorship opportunity by Bathmate. I may or may not close on that deal. I'm making this before I'm sponsored by Bathmate. By the way, I have not been sponsored by Bathmate since all the other penis content around this has been made. Just FYI, this is not to make a quick affiliate buck. I'm just literally saying what I did. So I went to a sex shop. I bought the seven inch Bathmate, not the extreme version, right? The one where you just push down and then I outgrew that one. Road to nine, baby. We got the Hydro Max Extreme Nine, which just suddenly goes to leg eight, but whatever. And it comes with the pump, right? So when I first did the Hydro Max Seven, right? Not the extreme, the one where you just put it on. I'll have Andrew throw up the other one. I already threw it away because it doesn't work for me. And I maxed it out. I first started with just doing it with air, right? Just doing it with air and the seal worked, you know, with the air. I felt a tugging sensation, but overall, when I switched to doing water, the pressure was way, way more intense. And overall, I felt way more of a buildup of blood in the dick. And overall, it was harder for me to withstand same thing with this like if i put this on right now without no water in it it's going to work i'm going to get everything i want aka desired girth increase out of it but overall when i put water in it and i pump water into it meaning i create a water vacuum of hot water that is by far the most intense sensation to create the blood vessels breaking and creating new blood vessel trees i'll have andrew play the excerpt out of how i already explained it in the previous bath mate. I'm trapping blood in my dick to cause blood vessels to explode and break. And that spider webs new blood vessels in my dick. Now you repeat this over time, over time, over time, over time, and you get a girthier dick, more blood vessel trees forming, and the blood vessels getting bigger in general. So go watch the previous bath mate video. Shout out to you guys liking the video. Got that to 20,000 views. I'm not here to regurgitate what I've already stated. I have Andrew linked that in the description below as well. If you want to go watch the original Bathmate video, I had a lot of people on my Instagram at Russo Lifts, you know, they're going in my anonymous Q and A and they're saying like, Hey, do you think air pumping is better than water pumping? I think it's whatever you're comfortable with. You know, this is like how I say it's a PE journey. It's a PE journey, soul journey, individual for you on improving your libido. I'm not here to sway you which way I'm saying, you know, what method I tried what I found worked and overall I do like using water over air pumps there are a lot of people who disagree with me and there are a lot of people who say that this bath made is not the pump of choice. I've been linked other more expensive pumps with different pumping apparatuses that maybe you could get a way better airtight seal and I'm talking out of my ass I'm just saying personally what I found is when I submerge that in water, I get about, I'd say a three fourth erection to a half erection. I start pumping this underwater while water is going in. So I'm flowing water. I'm not taking water out. I get this to the max tension, get it to eight. And then I bring the pump above water and start trying to squeeze the water out to get it even tighter. It's mind boggling, right? It's extreme. You could easily pass out if you're not used to working with a bath mate in a bath and you have to err on the side of caution especially with using these extreme models with the pumps i will say that's the craziest seal and then when i have that fully you know locked in maxed out i start doing the you know kegel exercises right so i squeeze my asshole which then is flexing my dick so i'm flexing my dick in the thing with its super inflamed swollen with the blood vessels breaking so i'm trying to get more of a connection while flexing my dick and overall that is going 
going to yield the biggest girth increase in my opinion than just using an air pump and doing it that way i'm not saying it doesn't work i'm saying when i'm like three fourths hard this is fully in water I lay in the bath three fourths hard. I put this fully in water with the nozzle unlocked. I submerge all this. I then pump the thing on to max, which I'm capped around eight, 8.2 right now. So I try to get it to there. It's super freaking painful. Then once I have it there, I bring the pump above water and try to squeeze some water out. And then that's extreme right that's actual extreme tension seal where i can feel the blood vessels in my penis breaking which again will start the new trees i'll have andrew throw up the scientific word i'm jumping on camera real quick before i go to the gym angiogenesis i believe am i correct got a little little gold star added andrew overall i definitely think that's the way to go i think you have to be careful with these as you know i always err on the side of caution on you could pass out by trapping too much blood in your dick with this shit right this isn't you know a risk-free ride like anything on this crazy ass censored channel but this is for girth this isn't really for length this is for girth you know i already covered a lot of the length stuff in my other videos which you can check out on this channel but this is for girth as well as erection quality feel meaning when i'm sitting there with this maxed out completely and then i'm sitting there flexing my penis Penis, squeezing my asshole doing the kegel exercises when i get intimate again i have more control over holding in the orgasm lasting forever you know ending the sexual session whenever i want etc etc that is a way to get that sensation feel and to start recovering if you haven't been doing that you know i think everyone should at least joke and do kegel exercises without these fancy you know 400 500 contraptions and all the dangers associated with them i definitely think every male should be joking as well as doing the kegel exercises that will go a long way in intimacy and sexual encounters as far as winning the sexual encounter and dominating it but if you do that inside a bath mate a water pump with a water seal you're gonna have way more connection to your dick to flex it and each time you do it you're definitely breaking way more blood vessels than you would you know just doing it you know a joking a stretching and then doing your little kegel exercises like if you did this in a pump hot water max it out hot water dilates the blood vessels boom you max this out all the blood vessels are snapping breaking you're flexing your dick exaggerating that further boom your dick's purple when it comes out all the blood vessel trees repair start new trees more thickness from all the trees you repeat this server you know three four years boom you're gonna have a thicker dick and you're gonna have more control over your erection because you're squeezing your ass while you're flexing your dick with it hard in this contraption and overall you're getting a more accelerated you know repair process as far as doing kegel exercises and you know that's really one of the big keys that a lot of these porn stars don't want to reveal is their kegel exercise routines you know i just want the information to be out there for free i want to help men and uplift them in bed definitely recommend you know investing in one of these these are not a gimmick but like everything else it's a pe journey you got to be super consistent with it like bodybuilding if you expect to see any results i wouldn't like buy one of these in like in a month you'll get better erection quality for sure but if you want like results results eight months consistent you know every three days i personally do like if i remember every other day every third day i try to remember to do a pump session and get that in get that done and over with that's what i think of air pumps versus water pumps you can educate me below i'm not an expert in this i'm just showing what i'm doing i'll see you guys in my next video